God bless you from the Los Angeles church. I'm happy to be back in the studio on our internet. I just amen so Christopher. Ariat, I just want to start off by saying happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've given us, everything you've given us now, and what you're going to give us, my Angle. Ariat, we have a special program, Kaisite Das Duma, about the origin of Thanksgiving. And I want to make sure that we understand what do we do on Thanksgiving. Is it about eating a turkey? Is it about uh, uh, the stuffing? I mean, just thinking about it, Gata Bukailem. Sometimes Thanksgiving is just about buying the food, getting the turkey, getting the ham, getting everything set up. Le Borioga, Han Chino, Te La Shareno Chabe. By the time they, they sit down, there's no Thanksgiving at all. Pure Choli and problems. Well, Ariat, I want to clarify what Thanksgiving is really about. So with that said, Mangaftume to tune in, take your Bibles out, as I always say, dust off your Bibles, get ready, and let's enjoy the Word of God together. Amen? Christopher, could you lead us in prayer today? Mugodel, Mugodad, we thank you, Lord Chichis, Devla, for another opportunity, Devla, to serve you and speak of your Word, Devla. Devil, we thank you for everything you have done for us, Devil, for everything you're about to do, Devil. Devil, I pray for a jeune kere, Devil. Devil, that as they continue to watch us, Devil, that we speak your word, Devil, through the internet. I pray for the service, Devil. I pray for the pastor. And most of all, Devil, we give you glory, praise, and honor. Amen. 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 Well, praise the Lord. First of all, before we go on to Amarochi teaching today, I want to remind everybody, Thanksgiving is around the corner. Thanksgiving, we have a special church location where it's uh, 1307 South Myrtle Avenue in Monrovia. 1307 South Myrtle Avenue in Monrovia. Uh, you could go on to our uh, church Instagram and we'll have uh, the address there for you. We're going to start at 9 o'clock, 9 p.m., so pretty much after you eat your turkey, I have his perdo sleep, so I'm tired out from eating. <laughs> We're going to enjoy a great time giving thanks to the Lord. Amen. So I want to invite you, 1307 South Myrtle Avenue in the city of Monrovia. Aven, let's enjoy the time of giving thanks. Amen. Well, tonight we are going to go into the history of thanksgiving. And it's very important, Mangete, Aliaras Goresa, why do we do things? Why do we give thanks? What is this celebration about? I mean, we've been doing it all of our lives, but do we really know where it came from, Kako Thanksgiving? Is it a Christian thing? Is it something people just invented? Uh, is it about a turkey? We don't know. And we do things in ignorance. Well, Ariat, I believe that God is going to change the way we look at Thanksgiving from this point on. Amen. So, Kongodi Dikel, Chaches Penaftomingi, please take out your Bibles. Tonight we're going to have a little history lesson on Thanksgiving. How did we get Thanksgiving? How did this holiday become so important all over? So, First of all, I want to start by saying with our PowerPoint here, Happy Thanksgiving from the Los Angeles Church. Could we put that up? Amen. And Mangaste Penasto Minge Chaches, Suntolo del Savorende Kataramarikangri, the Los Angeles Church, O Delte Suntoltume, that you forever give thanks to God for every circumstance, Kainakes, Vai la show, Vai bilashimos, because whatever you're going through, God is there holding your hand. Lesko shalim petutelo, lesko kamlimos is holding you. And we need to give thanks to the Lord always. So, happy Thanksgiving. Now, with that said, I want to go to our next point on the history of Thanksgiving. Sardiken kotepo picture, the Indians, the pilgrims, 
I did can you, you beautiful uh, turkey. 14 pounds. <laughs> 14 pounds. It's, and I, I want to explain a little bit why the Indians and the pilgrims and the turkey. What, what is that all about? I, I want to first of all start by going into the history of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving kind of started in the 1600s, okay, in the 1600s, and I want to go back, way back, to the King of England. The King of England, if we could put up the PowerPoint, please. The King of England, at this time, was King James. Now, it's a famous king. Uh, we know a lot about him because a lot of people have the King James Bible, which was uh, printed and available in 1611. That's when God allowed the Bible to be available to everybody. Now, the King James Version is also called the Authorized Version because it was authorized by King James himself. He was the king of England, and he, he allowed the Bible to be given to everybody at this point. Now, the king, when he became king until the day he died, he was, uh, King James was the king from 1603 to 1625. Now, why is this so important? We're talking about Thanksgiving. Why am I talking about King James? Well, it's important because this is the origin. This is where everything kind of started with Thanksgiving. Let me explain. Well, King James, he wanted, he had in his mind, everybody needs to be part of his church, the Church of England. And he believed that no one should have his own church. That only this church, his church, should be where everybody comes to worship God and to hear the word. And so King James decided that this is what it's going to be. But something happened. There was a group of people that are called the Puritans. These group of people came to King James, as you could see in the picture. They had a meeting, and King James told everybody, only my church. The people said, King, we want to have our church. We want to have our own church. And King James just said, no, 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 only my church. And then he gave them an initiative. Pendialing kadia. Could you put it big, please? Pendia, penge, go to jail or leave the country. This is the two options, Kaidiao, King James, Kakakalajeneka, Bushonas, the Puritans. Ailine, the Puritans, okay, so it's either go to jail or leave the country. Then they decided together and they said, then we'll leave. But though King James was a Christian, he allowed the Bible for the first time to be uh, published and given out in 1611. So yes, he was. Okay. And so, Kakala Puritans also, being a Christian, they, they wanted to have their own church. And so they were given these two choices. Either go to jail or leave the country. And they decided then we're going to leave. So what happened was, they made a decision, which was a, a few people, there was a lot of them, that could fit on a boat, okay? As many people that they could to fit on a boat. And this boat, maybe you heard of it, is called the Mayflower. So what they did was, they got on this boat to leave England to search out into another place so they could have their own church. 
So the pilgrims, the Puritans, set sail for America on a ship called the Mayflower. The Mayflower carried supplies to help them survive. Barrels of water that they could drink, seeds to plant, clothes and tools to build houses. So basically what they did, they left from, from England and they went all the way across the Atlantic Ocean until they got to Plymouth Rock, Massachusetts. Now, Pecaco journey, as you can see there, September 16, 1620 to November 22nd, 1620. Approximately 38 days of going on this boat. They were really, really going through a hard time. Imagine these people for the first time, Liné, Liné Kako journey on a boat. According to history, I read up on it, they got seasick, Naswaile. A few people even died on that ship before they got to the, to, to the United States. So Jale Barochino, Kakala Puritans, pilgrims. Later they were called pilgrims. And what happened was Jale Barochino, even the Gage on the boat, were persecuting them. So now, finally, Aresle called Plymouth Rock, Massachusetts. As you could see on the picture, this is where they landed. This is where their origin, this is how they got here. So Kakala, pilgrims, finally they got here, they're excited. Chomid and Vipu because they were so tired of being on the sea, the Atlantic Ocean. Does it show how long their trip was from uh, England to... About 38 days, Eight approximately. Days. No, it was our... Yeah. So basically, Jale Barochino. So finally, they got to their destination. They really don't know exactly where they're at. And what happens? They meet somebody. <laughs> they meet the Indians that live there. Right. Now, then to Mejorji, okay? Please be patient with me. I'm giving you the origin of, of um, Thanksgiving. So I need to show you exactly what happened so we could get to the right information. So, Kakala Indians, if I could pronounce their name, Wam, Wampanoag tribe. These people met the pilgrims. When they landed, they came and met with them. And what happened was they started to talk to them and see their different clothes and their hats, and it was just weird for the Indians. Who are these people? So what happened was, one native Indian that became pretty popular later on, good old native Indian decided to help the pilgrims. Aikako Indian, his name was Squanto, and he belonged to the Wampanoag tribe. So this Gajo, this Indian, decided I'm going to help the pilgrims so that they could live and survive because Canares Lay, this was in November, Canares Lay, it was super cold. It was very, very cold. A, I believe half, half of the pilgrims that were on the boat died because of the cold weather. Mule Bukhatar Nas So they really, really suffered on the Kodo Barosil. So finally, Kakala Indians, Aikako Gajo and the Indians, or Squanto, decided, I want to help them. So what they did is, Squanto and his people gave the pilgrims food and taught them how to hunt, fish, and grow corn. This is what the Indians did, and this, this specific Indian, Squanto, did. He helped them how to hunt, fish, and grow corn. Also, what happened with them, they started to help out each other, Akana. So the Indians helped the pilgrims, now the pilgrims helped them. The Indians taught them how to hunt, Sardikenando picture. I the pilgrims, Sikadelenge, how to use guns, also. And they helped each other out. 
So what happened was, now the harvest came. Get to silo seal, I have a lot time to learn, and that's so good they planted, Chris. Mm -hmm. So the next harvest was a good one. The pilgrims decided to celebrate with a feast and invited the native Indians who had helped them. This was their way of saying thank you. So what happened was Todeska Fidi, and this was the first Thanksgiving, Chris. Lengo Thanksgiving says the pilgrims, I the Indians, guys Kafidi. Now I have news for you, and maybe this is gonna grab your attention. There's no turkey in the first Thanksgiving. There's no turkey anywhere. <laughs> So it's not about a turkey. It's not about a turkey. Thanksgiving is not about a turkey or stuffing. It's about giving thanks. Kakala gaje Christian, kairaslepe kachapu, the United States, kai mule half of them that needed help. I kakala Indians. I believe God used them to bless them and help them. I sadly unity. I me pachav ke vi pendialenge pauden le pilgrims. And they started to give thanks and to pray. picture. Could you put it up again? This is what Thanksgiving is all about. Thanksgiving is not just you getting together with your family, but getting together with other people and giving thanks to God. People you didn't grow up with, people kachiprin jares, but family and delsa. Ayakana. Avasan dektan once a year, the das thanks kaudel, but this is not just once a year. We need to give thanks every day. Amen. 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 Every day we need to give thanks. So, I wanted to give you just a little history lesson on what Thanksgiving really is. How did it happen, and what took place? Now, I want to give you some scriptures. Read with me, kakala scriptures, please. I'm reading out of the NIV. Penele Warba, and Ephesians 5:19. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything. Asunen for everything, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Colossians 3:17. Penel, and whatever you do, whether in word. Or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Another great scripture, First Thessalonians 5:16. Penge, be joyful always, pray continually, and give thanks in all, asunen, all circumstances, for this is God's will for you Amen. in Christ Jesus. Man, these scriptures are amazing. 1 Timothy 2.1 I urge you, then first of all, that requests, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for everyone, for kings and all those in authority. Eta chibaro scripture. Dixo si cabela del, how important it is to pray, how important it is to give thanks, Penge, request to bring our requests to God, to, to bring our prayers, our intercession, and to give thanks. All this is what we do when we come together and acknowledge God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. This is what we do, Shavale. We give thanks. But Penav Dominguez, I believe most of the time we don't give thanks. We complain. We complain about everything. And when we stop complaining, we have another excuse to complain about our complaining. <laughs> so this is a model problem. Why I believe Thanksgiving is so important? Because it's a good opportunity to start a routine every day of our life. For example, I'm going to quote somebody pretty important. Go ahead, please. The day of thanksgiving and prayer, proclamation, in the year 1789, whereas it is the duty 
Penelo, President George Washington, whereas, whereas it is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey His will, to be grateful for His benefits, and humbly implore His protection and favor. This is a quote from pa President George Washington. Also, go ahead please. From Abraham Lincoln, President Abraham Lincoln, the day of thanksgiving and prayer, proclamation, 1865. I do hereby appoint and set apart the last Thursday in November next as the day of thanksgiving and praise to Almighty God, the beneficent creator of the universe. Noton Sama Shavali, presidents, presidents giving thanks to God making this day a special day to God. God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, giving them thanks. Presidents acknowledged it. You know, Abel Mangekako Gindo, Devla Kairis Liam, from having presidents that believed in God, to now having a president that's not even a Christian. Devla Juti Sarame. Dick, on the first, second Corinthians 4.15, Dick Sopenel. Penge, all of this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. Man, so everything is to give glory to God. When we give thanks in front of people, and I see the devleske, and the sogodi in a cas, can out tem di kel, que san and despita, I see to ignaswalo, I tu na I see the devleske, penes devla, na I see to ke, because makar kam going through this trial, this problem, this illness, this naswalimos, tu san mansa, and you never leave us. It goes back to the scripture you mentioned uh, to thank God through all circumstances. That's right, Chris. That's right. And this is what God wants for us. This is what direction God is teaching us, to be thankful. So it's important that we remember all this is for your benefit. Put it up again. All this is for your benefit so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause... This, this is to cause thanksgiving to overflow. So, Dikhan, look, let, let me try and make this clear. Okay. Because of you, your attitude, your character, your faith in God, people will start to give thanks for the glory of His wonderful name. Dik de bari jealousy. When we give thanks to God and we don't complain. Now, I want to show you something. What is thanksgiving really about? Is it prayer? Or is it preparing to eat a great dinner? Because they can. Butivar is. Butivar es la charazo jabe, la charen le boriogas waco fialo, jambaro chino, jazbare lo ve, te la share su carsca fidi. And sometimes we eat and we don't even give thanks to God. We don't even read a scripture for the Lord. Asunen, I want to encourage you to keren vareso. Lento mari warba, ankalavenla, aiton la kaisi chocharo. Leo Charo, put it aside and read a scripture that talks about giving thanks to God. Before you even eat, and maybe this will start doing something on the Chotraya where you start to read the word of God with your family, maybe every time you eat, not just one time a year. 
And this could do something. Because I want to take an opportunity. How important it is to give thanks to God, Shavali. Ankalavento Mari Warba. Kakala words, kakala paper, these pages, del trial, shavale, pahuel, pahuel ginduria, shinel lansuria. And when we're thankful, no matter what you're going through, even when it's all good, because sometimes when it's all good, we forget to even say thank you that it's all good. So we need to remember what Thanksgiving is really about. Dick, what does God tell us to give thanks for? No, why does God tell us to give thanks for everything? Why does He tell us to give thanks? Because we are never happy with what we have. At our point, Akana. We talked about the, the origin, the history of thanksgiving. We talked about quotes and scripture about giving thanks. But here's the problem. Here's the source of the problem. Why God teaches us to be thankful, Chris. Mm -hmm. Because we're not thankful. We're always complaining. We're never happy. Who we are, where we live, what we have, how much money we got, our families. But Preach it. sometimes we're not even happy with our, with our families, our wives, our husbands. So it's very important. Lekodo, please. <laughs> it's very important that we understand what goes on in our minds and in our hearts. When we think, I penas divla, I'm not happy with my life. I'm not happy with what I got. I'm not happy with how I'm living. I want, I want a different life. I want, I want a different view. I, I, I want a change. Amen. You know what I heard? And I heard this too many times. I never knew what I had. Until I lost it. As soon as Chris. I'm listening. It's a shame. Que Musa y Teresel. Broken families. Problems. Falling into ugly sins. And then it's too late. So Del Mongo. To hear from us. Why we're. Uh, to say thanks. Go back up to Isaac. Because we are never happy. With what we have. Well, that's it. That's it. Now, I want to explain something, Akana, about complaining. Why is it so important that God is telling us you need to give thanks? Because the reality is, it's kind of like a, a commandment. Give thanks. Chipenel. If you feel like it, if, if you want to. No, it's something that you need to acknowledge. It's something that you need to know and be aware of. That Odel Kotelo is untoltu no matter what. Give thanks. Now, I want to talk a little bit about complaining. Are you a complainer? <laughs> Have you been complaining? How about, are you complaining about your church? Are you complaining about the servants? Are you complaining about your work? Jikana Devla, I'm tired of this life. I used to do what I used to do and that made me happy. I'm just going to go back to my old ways. Have you been saying those words? Have you been remembering the past and forgetting about what Jesus did? Then you're not giving thanks. And I want to bring you back to where God wants us to be. Giving thanks. Because it means more than what, it, what you read. Giving thanks doesn't mean, thank you Lord. No. It means, Devla. Chaches. Tu dian ma suako fialo. Amen. Tu dian ma trayo. Tu dian ma suako fialo ande mugilo. 
tu, tu pagudian mo regindurya. It's not just saying, Devla, thank you for my broken car. Thank you for mukher that it's too small. No, no, no. Naika savo attitude. Naika savo character te formi te penes. You know what? Thank you, Lord, for my ugly life. Nastigin dosa me kadia shavale. Whatever sian de maro trayo, God is allowing it because He has a plan. Hmm. Does anybody know His plan? Penele warba plans to prosper us, to give us a future and a hope. Man. You got to give thanks for that. So, Dick, I want to read a scripture about complaining. Psalms 106, verse 25. Dick, so penel. Actually, Philippians 2, 14. Penge, do everything, do everything without what? Complaining. Do everything without complaining and arguing so that no one can criticize you. Live clean, innocent lives as children of God, shining like bright lights in the world full of crooked and perverse people. All right, so let's look at this now. And what about Penel? Do everything without complaining. Mm -hmm. Everything, Chris, mm -hmm. no complaining. But you know what we do? We complain about everything. So what scripture is telling us not to do, that's what we're doing constantly. Do everything without, we're always, uh, we're not happy what we have. Simple. We're not happy, how about we're not happy who we are? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you know Pendiamang Data a long time ago. Penge, Penge Douglas, manglemas te avao and America. This is a person and the aver tem. Penge how baro chino and the mugotem. And I wish I was born in the United States and become an American. I'm not happy who I am and where I was born, Tertis, and uh, how I grew up. Baro chino, baro ne caso. And they complain about that. Well, then what about Penel? That we need to do everything without complaining and arguing. Because the reality is, we argue with God. Hmm. And we complain to God. And we complain, Kodo, Devla, why Devla? Why? And we ask God always, why? Have you been asking why lately? Because one thing that God showed me, instead of saying why, we need to say, Devla, how? How can I find a way to glorify your name in my trial, in my tribulation, in my problem? And then we holy. I need to find a way to give you thanks, to give you glory. So we need to stop complaining. Stop asking why. They, on the Psalms 106, 25. They complained in their tents and did nothing to obey the Lord. We complain in our houses. You know, I want to give you a warning. For some reason, I've been learning a lot about complaining recently. And I want to give you this warning. Kanasio manus bitter. For some reason, mangel wortako. Kanasan bitter, you want somebody else to feel bitter with you. Bitterness wants a partner. Mm. And you know who our partners in bitterness is? Milamang at the penalf. Amare kids. Amare wives. I tas parimos pelende, shavale. Butivares tasan de linguilo. Le glati asunen amaro complaining. Le little kids, amare little babies asunen acusimos and amaro mui. I chitru bulkodo. Todiam bitterness and the mare families. Why? Because we wanted them to agree with us. That's what we need to stop doing, Shavali. Thanksgiving is to stop complaining. Man, that sounds good. Mention it, say it again. Thanksgiving means to stop complaining. Mm -hmm. 
And I thank God for that. I hope my wife is watching. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Now look, I want, I want to go into, the, into a little word study. From a scripture, Old Testament, Psalms 106, 25, the word complained. I want to show you the word, if we get that word, the Hebrew word, ragon, or ragon. This is what complain means. To grumble, to murmur, to rebel. Dot it. So the opposite of thanksgiving is to grumble, murmur, and rebel. That's what we've been doing. See, nine taino kay penelo del give thanks in everything. You need to give thanks in every circumstances. Thank God for every situation we go through. Thank you, Lord, on that your mercy and grace and forgiveness. Thank you for your love. But we're constantly grumbling, murmur, and rebelling. Against what? One another? Nietzsche. Against God. And what about Penel? Or Jesus Penel? When I was hungry, you fed me. Kanasimas Pandado, you came and visited me. Kana Pendele disciples, when you did it to one of these, you did it for me. Now that's the good of doing good for others. Now I'm talking about bad. Grumbling, arguing. The can guys, Dick. We need to come together. And the yek duho, and the leski warba, I ten a isis leski and the swakofialo. Stop grumbling, stop complaining, and let's give thanks to the Lord. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Dick, and the Philippians four eleven. Let's read. I am not saying this because I am in need. This is a Paul del Duma. For I have learned to be content. Say this with me. Content. Content. Whatever the circumstances. I learned to be content whatever the circumstances are. I know what it is to be in need. And I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through Him who gives me strength. Hallelujah. Etau scripture. Etau truth. And the truth will set us free. O Paul del Duma about learning to be content. Learning to thank God in everything and with nothing. In problems and in peace. To be content. Let me show you what the word content means. The word content from the Webster's Dictionary means to be happy, to be satisfied, gratified and in agreement there it is so in order for us to be thankful we need to be contentful we need to be happy satisfied gratified and in agreement so if we were to put this together giving thanks to the Lord means agreeing with God which means, Devla, thank you for this house, Kaidyanma. Thank you for the car. Thank you for my family. Thank you for our money. Thank you for everything that you've given us. Because Maka, that maybe it's not what we want, God knows exactly what we need. Mm. And so we're content. Are you seeing? Do you understand what I'm saying? Because this is the source of the problem. Why we're not thankful is because we're not content. So, this is where I want to show you. I want to show you, Kako PowerPoint, 
the Cholo family praying together. Butivaris, you kind of, maybe the, you know what, God is leading me right now, a sunen. When was the last time you sat at the table with your family and ate? Have you been having problems with your family? Where you, you just want to eat by yourself? Or how about tu mugipei? And you don't want to even sit down with him. Because Or how about the kids? They eat in their room. They don't eat with the family. Na unity, Shavale. I believe God is using me right now to tell you. Being thankful means coming together with the family. And praying together. Sardikena Nekodo picture. I pray that God will, will touch your heart. We need to give thanks with the family. The next picture, guys, Dichol Pekotse, is the house. The family, the house you live in. Butivares, I heard people, I hate my house. It's uncomfortable, naiwarta, I'm never happy, I want another house. They leave the house, they get another house, Chris. I then then pegoji yoi kodokar chela shokar sas. Sounds familiar. That house was so great. I love that house. So kardem, you're not happy with your little house. How about you get a house, okay, my kuchi, you pay more money, and you're not content, and you're not happy with that house. This is a big problem because you're always going to be in rebellion. You're never going to be content. You're not going to be happy. And so when you come to give thanks, you're going to hate your life. How could you give thanks to God when you don't even, you're not even happy with the house you're living in? You need to be content and give thanks to the Lord. How about your car? <laughs> your truck? Dick, as we put the picture up big, Ton Sama. I seen people and I, I was one of them. You, you, you're, you don't have a new car. You have to drive a little clunker to survive. I hope it starts. <laughs> I hope it starts. Then I will more problem. Then I will pe pale pe mande. Then I then I will heat it up. Then I touch all the mobili. I miss that after. You're complaining. You you kick the car. You you go do. You hate it. Man, you need to be thankful for that little car, that little truck. Because later God will bless you, and you're gonna thank God. Thank you, because Kodol little clunker that you have now gets you around and does what you need to do. That it says, Kai Kangari. It's hard to give thanks, even for something that you hate. But this is what a Christian does. The attitude of a Christian is always, Devla, thank you. Thank you, it started. <laughs> thank you, it, it, it drives. Thank you, it didn't heat up. This is an attitude, Shavale. Everything we go through has to do with our character, how we look at things. Uh, do you look at it? Do you look at life or, or cup half empty or the caseless half full? attitude half full. We're almost there, Devla. We're going to get better. God is going to bless us. There is a blessing around the corner. Chitrubustavas negative. Chitrubustavas down and out. Avilo depression petute. You're so hindered. You're not thankful for nothing. You're complaining about everything. Vidyanando depression. Vidyanando stress. Ando anxiety. Naswailan. Ando stato naswailan. Leatu sugar. Leatu high blood pressure. Kai spitijas. Pes draba. Because you're not thankful. Because you're complaining about everything. Eta maro problem. Kai rezlian. Consacho complaining. Did it help you? 
It didn't help you. It didn't give you more money. Your complaining didn't give you a bigger house. It made your life hell. It didn't help you. I guess I'm here. We are here. The Penastu Menge. How important it is to give thanks. Why is this holiday so important for Christianity? The reason God tells us to give thanks is because we're always complaining. How about the clothes we wear, Tali? Check horny. The kennel picture, please. Clothes we wear. Why? I, I, <laughs> this is hard for me to say, Shavale, but I'm ministering to you, so please, Asunen. Why does everybody have Ferragamos and I don't? I want those nice belts, the er Hermes, Hermes, Sarbusho. Really? I, I want the, the nice suit. I'm not happy even the clothes I wear. Jikana, I don't have what I like or what I... Why does everybody else have it and I don't have it? And you start to complain. Even about the clothes you wear? Dick, Asunem, the reason I'm explaining about the family, the house, the, the car and the clothes is because once Diana and the Kodo atmosphere and the Kodo attitude of complaining, 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 then this is what happens. The kennel picture. You start to complain about the church of God. The out bitterness. Dia o o o rebellion kadia zurales and tute about complain complain takana you're complaining on your church you're complaining on God's church and then avilo chotrayo to a point where vi durios katarodel vi durios katare kangeri you know what the heck with all this penis I can't, Jikan, I deal with this. You know what? I, I, I can't. I, I just want to leave. Ayakana, you're complaining about God's church. Dick, this is deep stuff, Shavali. I pray that God is talking to your hearts right now. Because I feel on the Murilo, I'm really, I'm so confident that God is speaking to you. Asunen putrentu maruilo. Because God wants to give you happiness. He wants to give you peace. Mek telel tutar. Sako de ajoli. Sako do complaining. Aitadik sarsita vel chotrayo my usoro. You could sleep there it is in peace. You could eat in peace. Wortolpe sa chotrayo. But you have to let go. Let go. Give God the opportunity to get el sobo mangel. Now I want to talk about maybe one of the most sensitive points of giving thanks. Giving thanks for our finances. <sighs> okay. Where do I start? <laughs> it's never enough, Dick. I think this is one of the biggest complaints that every Christian has. Mugine Pata, Elizabeth. Marel Muiman, that I told my family once. Penonai Malove. I Mugine Patuza. Penel Mugadake. Penge Yui. Oh, Papa, Penel, Naima, Lovi. And she's making fun of me. She heard me say that. I laugh, I then mulem la javesta. Because my nepatutsa, that's three years old at the time, Asunel Mugo complained. Naima, Lovi, and I'm complaining. Let me, let me make this clear. If you complain to your wallet, is that going to help? If you complain to your family, 
Is that going to put money in your wallet, Chris? Complaining does not help. You know what does? Praying. Asking God to direct you, to help you. Ajuker Tadik, from experience, Penaftuke. Stop complaining and start praying. I Tadik, because fruit. But at our problem, with our finances, we got to do something. We have to have faith on the dead. Con amare finances, we need to trust in the Lord. And we need to give thanks for amare finances. Because the And sometimes even the 20. I has barochino, and you're trying to save money, and you're trying to pay your payments. I cheat this on the gore. It's very easy to murmur, to complain, and to grumble. Asunen, God is a God of providing. Ask Him, seek Him. But John I Roden, John I Roden te keren wortang laudel. Buchate keren ilesa chachimasa that God will bless the work of your hands. Vai bari buchi, vai chi, vai chinogi buchi, bare love vai chigalove. Thank God for that. I tadik sarsite di kene peace, e pacha, e udina and the chi family, and the chui lo. Now, let's change a little bit to coming Kako Thanksgiving. We're going to sit at a table and we're going to eat, but maybe this is what happens to us. Sometimes when we eat, so Keras is we don't talk to each other. Everybody has an iPhone, an iPad, an iPod. And they're on Instagram, Facebook. They're even maybe texting each other. And this is maybe the Thanksgiving that we're going to have. I may mang the penalf to menge. Before Tavela, can I see Tavel Thanksgiving? Try not to have any phones at the table. Dale, your heart. But I gotta take pictures of my food. <laughs> Now for Instagram. <laughs> take your pictures. No, chaches. It's okay. Take your pictures with the family. But afterwards, when you sit down, take the Bible out. Not your phone. Read a scripture. Pray with the family. Tono phones rigate, chaches. And give thanks to the Lord. Edik, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm overreacting. But put a CD maybe. I have sunen worship. Worship a song on Thanksgiving at the table before you eat. If you play the guitar, take the guitar out and worship one song. Read one verse, one scripture of Thanksgiving. Get God involved. There you go. There you go. That's where we want to be. Because we talk about thanksgiving, the Bible saying give thanks to God, but God is not in our thanksgiving. And we need to be thankful. So, what is our desire? To give thanks. But okay, we have a situation. <laughs> we have a situation, and maybe you could understand this. Yo, Douglas, Chi Aliares. One of the biggest problems, Canavas, Cal Thanksgiving, the Kaznyamuria that we have problems with. <laughs> In laws. <laughs> you done it. <laughs> Sacra, Socro, put the picture up. So, Amaro, Thanksgiving, maybe it's this. <laughs> Amaro, Thanksgiving, maybe it's this. Chastu, Marestu. This is what happens at Thanksgiving. All right, you put the phones aside 
you put the iPods aside, but as soon as you start talking, a chingar, hey, no ma charisma can amangez vareso, hey, what did you want? Remember what you did? Nyamuria, problems, holia. And this is what happens. Thanksgiving, instead of being thankful, now you got chingar, holi, and bad words. Thanksgiving is supposed to be a spiritual time. It's not just a holiday. It's a time of giving thanks to the Lord. So, chachimos, sartrubul avel, sikadia. Put the picture, please. Sao is gujimos. Sao is is thanking God, is peace, pacha and the giving thanks for everything he did, he's doing, and what he's going to do. Dick, mangaftu metelaren vareso. It's very important that thanksgiving, akanaka yavel, aisite la sharenes kafidi. God needs to be involved. And how does he involve? When you involve him. You need to make that happen. Now, I, I want to give you instructions, okay? Sale fathers, because tu mesan o cero cataretzera. This is what you need to do. Fix everything, let the girls do what they need to do. But you need to organize this cafidit avel rujimos. Le Bible. Start working on looking for scriptures. That you could read. Look for a song that you could put to worship. Pray with the whole family. Turn the phones aside. Pray and churches give thanks. And you, need, you don't need to wait for Thanksgiving to do that. Do that tomorrow. Do that tonight. Do that every opportunity you have. This is what Thanksgiving, according to the Word, is all about. I pray that this message blesses your heart, blesses your family, and encourages you to come together in unity. Now, I believe we had some questions. Uh, prayer request. Prayer request on Instagram. I'm going to uh, read the prayer request, and then uh, if you could pray for them. Amen. Amen. I'm going to read the list. Baby Mia. Anna in Chicago, bad report for healing. Uh, she received a bad report and she's asking for healing. Help them. Linda and Sonny, Nancy and Michael, Michael and Susie, Porky and family. Porky will be Monday in the hospital regarding his heart. Dina and Sylvia, Jackie and Adam, Val and Brandy, Fatso and Tiffany, for God's peace and protection, understanding God's favor upon us and healing. Chunga and Jimmy for healing. Or oh, Moses and Sadafa, the Clark family, all the kids that are sick, yes. all the sick, Sally John, Mike and Josh Cooper, Ipo and Rosie, and uh, Shavago, Sonia, my family, and all the Thanksgiving services amongst the churches. Pastor, if you could lead us into a prayer. Father God, we come before you, Lord. For the internet. I sale genedeva, kai trubulle. A blessing, a miracle. Mangastu tardivla. Tenzares chovas, pelengo trayo, pelengo stato, pelengo families. Lord, mangaste asunas testimonies. Que tu asunes o hujimos. Ay sastiares, ay skepis. Shines lansuria of addiction. Devla. All these names, Devla. People, Devla, that are in hospitals now. Yes, Otina. Jimmy Argentino, his daughter, Debbie. I pray, Mohoda, for results, Lord. For great reports, Mohoda. Te balearas chilo suento anao. Devla, we're asking you, Lord. We're not telling you. We're asking you that you would bless all these people. Yes, Lord. As we pray and intercede for them, we pray according to your will, your word, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I saw Amen. Amen.
Psalms Amen. 107, verse 1. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. His mercy endures us forever. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Give thanks. Give thanks and stop complaining. Christians, we need to give thanks. That's the history, the origin of thanksgiving, the why of thanksgiving, and the source of the problem of why we don't give thanks. Asunen, janka tomare kangaria, support your churches, give glory to God, bless His name with obedience, give God what He wants, your heart. Amen. So be content, more plan. Mangaste na isile devles ke anaka chavriamia, ke diamio del te avas, te lo budile devles. E dama goje anda maroplalo shavago. We want to pray special prayer for him. Blessings. Blessings of God. Peles kuilo, peles ki gindura, peles ki family. And we ask that God will anoint his dad and his mom to bring him closer to the Lord. I thank God I had the opportunity to pray with Robert. Amen. And I thank God because I know God is working in their lives. So we want to pray for all of our friends, for all of our families to come closer to the Lord. This Thanksgiving, we have, I'm going to give you the address again, 1307 South Myrtle Avenue in the city of Monrovia. It's the church for Thanksgiving at 9 p.m. It seats 400. So there's a lot of space. And also, tomorrow, we've been praying, fasting, and asking God for a special service. Amaro service tomorrow is for healing only. Only for healing. I'm not going to preach. It's about healing. We want healing. Aven. Aven, so godi manus na swalo, so godi need, so godi addiction, so godi problems, parimos. I'm talking about healing, physical, spiritual, financial. I asunen, diama odelig warba. God wants to heal those who are planning, asunen, planning for overdose, drug overdose. I don't know how, I don't understand why God told me this, but Odel Pendiamange, pray for healing. Tenamayavel overdose. Peljene. Also, suicidal thoughts. Suicidal thoughts. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Tenamayavel kakalagindurya kaisi kataro duzmano. Nai kataro del. God wants to free you from kakala. It just makes more sense of the preaching. You're not content. You're not happy. Where you just want to take your life. You, you're using drugs to make you happy. Where it's like a hole and you want to fill it and it's never filled. Only God could fill that hole. So, I cut off to me tomorrow. Sunday service, 1801. East Del Mar Boulevard in Pasadena at 3 o'clock. Aven and be healed in the name of Jesus. God bless you from the Los Angeles Church. We also pray for Sunny West to come home soon amen. to the Lord. Amen, amen. God bless you guys. Amen, amen. We're excited to be back on the Maro program every Saturday. Chris, what, what's our, our schedule? Uh, December 5th, and then we will be back here December 5th. Okay, and do we have other dates too? I Until have to Christmas? Go over, but we, we'll be having Christmas programs. Okay, good, good. So we're going to be on our Saturday programs constant as much as we can. Oh, Gajo Rob, I'm our producer, he, he does a big production here, and sometimes he can't, he's not available. But our goal is to be on every Saturday. Pray for us, pray for us, that God will provide time on Saturdays, Katse. Again, Penal from the Los Angeles Church. God, God bless, bless you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. May the Lord bless And may you the Lord bless tomorrow, Chabe, tomorrow families. In Jesus' name. Good Amen. night. What kind of sad may you like?